In this video, we're going to look at an answer for Lab 9.3. So Lab 9.3 has you go through and create a folder called Employees App on your hard drive under your Python class. <clears throat> so I guess I'll start with that. Let's see, Python class. You got a lot of stuff there. Make a new folder and call it Employees App. <clears throat> okay, that's step one. Uh, copy the data processor uh, processing person employees modules to the folder. Now that should be pretty easy to do too. Just have to open up that location. Now, I, I do like the feature of PyCharm that allows me to go through and and open up the, the folder location. So I'll use that, and I'll take <coughs> all these files. And I'll just paste them over into Python class, <coughs> employees app, and paste it. <coughs> okay, so we're starting a new application. And to tell you the truth, I probably want to go through and just take a few moments to hook up a um, a new module, uh, excuse me, a new project for working on those files. So I'll do that. I'll go ahead and say I want to make a new project <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and locate that folder. I want to be able to work with that folder from here. Let's see, I don't see it in there, which is kind of interesting because I know it does exist. There it is. I had to, to close this and reopen it. <clears throat> okay. I'd like to create a project with existing sources, sure. And I want to open it in a new window because I don't want to close down the module 9 window. I'll probably be using some of that uh, later on. Actually, to tell you the truth, all the files in module 9 are the same, so I guess I really don't need that. So I'll go ahead and close that down. <clears throat> okay, so now I can start working on this. And uh, let's see. Use a test, your, your test harness to test that it still works. In other words, I haven't messed anything up yet. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, what kind of testing stuff should I do? Well, let's start off with the employee. Uh, right now it has ID and first name, and I think that's all that is in there. I should be able to add it, and I should also be able to print out the data from it. So let's see here. <clears throat> Employees. Come on, employees dot employees list dot. Um, <clears throat> I'll use the two string method, and we'll see what it looks like uh, after we loaded that data. Now, attribute object has no attribute called last name. Ah, that is a problem. And um, <clears throat> my two string method over here looks like what I copied would include something about last name. I don't see it there. In this code, I see the ID, person, <clears throat> I see first name. I don't see a last name. Uh, and this is one of those things where I was kind of talking about where it's really easy to get things out of sync when you start you know, using somebody else's code. So <clears throat> I'm going to look at the, uh, the traceback information. According to this, Line 14 in the module, where I go ahead and call to string, is messing around with the employees file, line 86, where I go through and add the existing data to the item first name and last name. Okay, so that's where I need to look, and I need to make a decision. Uh, 86 is down here. <clears throat> I need to make a decision. And that decision is, do I want to add the first name or remove the last name? Now, either one is fine. You could have gone either way. Of course, the easiest one would be to just go ahead and remove the last name. That's probably not the most appropriate one. But if you did that, <laughs> I wouldn't fault you. Of course, the other option would be to go through and add that in by just creating another attribute for last name a property procedure uh, for the last name, setter and getter, and then of course modifying 
the two string method so that it would would call that and if you did that that was fine too now I'm going to cheat as well I'm, cheat is a bad thing I just said it was fine how can it be cheating I'm just gonna make it uh, simple I'm gonna take the easy lazy way out because like you I've got all kinds of other things I want to do uh, besides just doing Python and adding in a last name is really not going to make um, that much difference in my understanding of how it all works. So hopefully this is going to, to make fix the issue. Let's find out. And uh, it kind of did. I've got a problem here where it says it's printing out the last name. i got to figure out what's going on with that. It's probably in the employee list object, which would be in the employees module. In which case, let's see, where am I printing that out from? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's uh, put a breakpoint in here and find out. <clears throat> okay, we're looking for where it prints out the first, ah, oh, there it is, right there. So that's got to go. Okay, that was easy. I think I'll just go ahead and um, stop the debugging. I think I've found what I need, and I'll go back to my test harness and test it and see if it looks right. And yeah, it's certainly not the best thing ever, but it's working. And I would go through and test that for the data processing and see if the methods are working, and uh, maybe even go through and work with the person class as well and see if that's working. That would all be part of the the first testing using my little test harness. <clears throat> now after that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create my new script called I don't know my app py, and this is going to hold my main application code, and I want to test to make sure the application works. So I'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> yep, on a package new Python file, <clears throat> my app, or <clears throat> you could also call it main.ps or anything. I'm going to go ahead and call it my app because that's in, in the instructions. And um, I'm also going to go ahead, because I don't feel like typing it out, I'm going to go ahead and take the code that I had previously typed out. I imagine many of you guys did the same thing, and I don't blame you. And I'm going to paste it over here. Now, we do have to be careful because when we use somebody else's code, it may not be in sync. And I think that's going to be true here. So I need to go through and look for times where that's not going to make sense, such as last name. Last name is not going to be there. And if I uh, look, I'll see that that's referenced in a few places. So um, that line goes, and I have to keep and be diligent about it that line goes any place else Oop, here's some that invisible code we have to be careful of I don't care about the last name so I'm going to get rid of that and that goes to <clears throat> and I think that's it let's find out would you like to add some employee data well sure I would uh, ID last one was one uh, zero so I'll go one Bob okay would you like to add some more sure last one was one let's go two Sue uh, no I think I'm done so there's the current data would you like to save this data sure why not and that's it they save the data and if I go over here I should find the persons oh, not persons employee data text uh, data text file and it should have my data in there and it does and we are good to go so that's how I would have uh, done this lab you could have uh, actually got done, gone through and did the uh, the full featured version which you went through and added in the additional uh, last name heck you could have even done this whole thing from scratch any of those options is fine again the point of this exercise this lab was to help you understand how people can use separate module files to create a complete Python application and hopefully you're getting that. Okay that's it for uh, this particular lab. Next up we're going to take a look at uh, a review of the uh, 
authors chapter. See you there.